So a little while ago, I went ahead and uh, replaced this big guy, and I noticed immediately that uh, some error that was getting past the math and not getting metered was uh, actually getting metered, so that was wonderful. Um, gave my uh, idle air control valve a little bit more control. Instead of staying wide open with extra fuel, it actually closed down a little bit and reduced things, but I still had a bit of an issue. I spoke correctly. Vacuum leak calls for more fuel. Computer overcompensates, needs more air from the idle control valve, which overcompensates, and then it asks for even more fuel. All of my vacuum leaks look like rich conditions. So I thought I'd go ahead and take care of this guy as well. And he feeds down way back deep into here. We probably can't see behind the throttle plate in front of it, one of the two. And that's my positive crankcase ventilation. Well, I actually bought this hose to do that job, but I couldn't get it on. It's actually the second hose I bought. Oh, it went bigger again. Even though it easily fit over the PVC, where it was supposed to be in the next place, is, is huge. So anyway, I'm certain I have even more air leaks now instead of less, judging by my fuel trims and O2 sensor responses. So I'm going to have to get this situation resolved. Um, this I actually stole from my vent valve, or is it purge valve? I always get those two mixed up. Um, this guy right here is the last guy before your evap system gets back into your intake and gets reburned. But uh, I don't think that connection is too good because I was getting desperate trying to make fewer parts do more because this silicone fits perfectly with no leaks without a clamp over here. But I need clamps over here. And you get all this reworked because silicone, at least according to a little research online, does not take gas very well. It doesn't take uh, excuse me, oil very well. If it doesn't take oil very well, it probably does even worse with the uh, gasoline and oil that uh, is vaporized and comes as vaporization and droplets back into be reburned in the engine. Kind of showed you the, the way around there. Try not to make you sick, I apologize. I'll pause to the next scene instead. The good toolbox is at work. And back down to my old ones that I started with for at home because they don't can't take as much punishment but they seem to do well DIY so this guy he's the one that was too small for the job you can see the 5 16 there I went up up one size it was still too small to get on one side and too big to sill on the other what a goofy design makes me wonder if someone else actually put some hoses in the wrong place and if I took a really good look at that throttle plate uh, assembly, I might see that some of the things are supposed to go in different places just a little bit. I mean, you have them all still hooked up and serve their purpose, but it just has me wondering a little bit. And this is the cover that's supposed to be on that PVC hose. But by the time I get big enough to be able to attach it, this guy won't flit, fit over it. Maybe I can see why spending a dollar or two or three on hoses versus paying twelve dollars for the correct fit is all the trouble worth it. And now here is that original hose from 1999. I probably should have replaced it years ago. It's just totally ballooned and big on one side. Maybe they do intend it to be that way. And tiny on the other. Well, trouble as it is, it's alright. We'll get through. I'm not sure if I'll even uh, post this or not, but if I need ever need examples uh, about uh, vacuum and trouble like that, if I ever need some video about uh, showing some solutions on, on vacuum, I can show these as, as some examples. Alright, so long. Be sure to like, subscribe and tell your friends where you learn things. Maybe they'll want to learn something too. Why would you put light in the center of a garage? Aren't garages for working on cars? 
the light was over here, it put light under the hood. No. Sorry, I felt like I'm playing there. Okay, so the silicone tube is back where it was, and I was it had ripped open and called us the vacuum link on the bigger end for that hose I showed you earlier. I was responsible. I put actual clamps on each side. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I am back to the original pipe. I have to. I'll have to spend the thirteen dollars. Uh, Rock Auto has one left. That's not much of a profit placement for them, is it? And uh, you come down around over here. Uh, that's where it actually hooks in. And it slips on real easy. But I'd rather have that small vacuum leak than the big one that this guy developed when he ripped open. Yeah, he was weak sauce. That's why he was able to fit over that big thing. So silicone tubing, not too impressed. Came with the Dragon Weapon R, it seemed okay, but I don't think it's going to hold up. I think it's going to get a replacement again. In fact, while I'm here, maybe I should go ahead and put this guy back on there. He's tough. He'll last a long time. Nah, I'm cheap. I'm going to leave that one on there while it still works. Have one as a spare. <laughs> That's Otto Rivato signing off. Drum wheel roll, please. It's been weeks of trying and I finally have a solution. Huzzah! What we have in essence is the original tube that I bought that fits rather nicely, 3 8 It uh, gets onto your PVC really well, even use the original clamp. Works great, just kind of spread them with your fingers or with a 45 degree plier and you'll have that taken care of. Okay. And now what you do with this guy is you gotta put a 3 8 tube like you get in the help section, three, four, seven, three, oh, seven. Pretty bright light. Sun's actually harder to work with, isn't it? So what you've got is these different sizes of tubes, and uh, basically you need the three eighths. Okay, so you take that three eighths and you put it inside this tube, and it creates rigidity so that you can clamp another tube on top of it and know it will actually hold the sill. I didn't have to cut it down or anything. A little bit of 3 8 is sticking out of, of this, going into this. It's not a problem. Uh, it would be a problem if it was like a high flow exhaust device where, there's, where there wasn't a smooth transition. But we're going to be just fine now. By the way, the car runs a lot better. Alright, so what was happening? is that when I had the lean condition the computer added more fuel it added more fuel but when you add more fuel too much the computer had overcompensated and instead of compensating with the fuel it would add more air from the idle air control valve and because the idle air control valve didn't have enough control it would add, overcompensate as well, and you'd be stuck with adding more fuel, fuel yet again. I thought I would slow it down and tell it my son, because I was saying it pretty fast in those other scenes. So anyway, obviously there's more to come. Uh, I've got an idle air control valve that uh, adjusts more than the old one, but it doesn't do that fine tuning in the middle it's supposed to. It'll sit at 2 grams, it'll sit at 4 grams per second above, but it won't do any of that in-between stuff. Yeah. So we got to get it to act right. Be sure to like and subscribe. There's plenty more to come. And if I explain things too fast, I'll employ the use of this little guy. Alright? <laughs>